Hey, it's John Pellin, UTVScene.com. I'm out here at San Padre Island in Cal Southern California. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is the machine we've been waiting for. It's the Yamaha YXZ1000R. My goodness, have they done a good job with this thing from what I can tell. This isn't the full-on review of the machine. I will do a full-on ride review. This video, we're going to showcase the where we're at here. We're going to talk to a few people. It's Travis Hollins, the product planning manager. And hey, John. You've, it's cool that you are the guy, one of the guys that decides what we're gonna have next for the Yamaha lineup. Well, we try to listen to the customer and we try to you know, come up with ideas and concepts that we think people are interested in. So yeah, it's, uh, I can't complain, it's, it's a great gig. It, it is, <laughs> and I'm really excited because this machine, I think, is long awaited. I've, I've been wanting Yamaha to have this for, jeez, a decade. Boy, <laughs> but, I, man, I, it, I, <laughs> I know you've, this has been in the works for probably years. Yeah, Let's yeah, keep it a we, secret for we've, been, we've been working on this a long time yeah, and I, I can tell you so there is nobody more excited for this thing to come out than I am. So uh, yeah, we've had a ton of fun developing it obviously it's been uh, you know many years that we've been working on it and just trying to get it just right and make sure we've got all the kinks and the durability and everything that we're looking for and you know we're, we're super excited it's it's a great machine it really is I got to drive in this machine and I'm blown away it just pulls hard it's fun it's stable Suspension's outstanding. It's better than I thought it would be, and I thought it would be pretty darn good. So. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting. You know, when Rhino came out, that was the sportiest thing in the market. So yeah. that was kind of the, the benchmark, the reference point. We, we didn't really keep going into that more sporty direction. We went into some other directions. Yep. And, uh, you know, I, I think the the, mar the machines that are in the market today are what people understand as a, as a sport category. But really, now that the, the YXZ is here, you know, we've, we've just reset the bar. I mean, this is truly what the sport market's going to be judged by. Judged by. Everyone's already seen your walk around video probably by the time this goes. We're not going to walk around this machine and get to every part. Okay. And there's a lot of neat stuff. Yep, yep. I'm going to ask you some of the things that you've really proud of okay. that Yamaha made. I'm going to say the, the transmission, <laughs> right? I'm guessing. Um, you know what, what, what I'm most proud of in this entire project is it, it is just the fact that the whole machine is a totally different experience. It is. When you drive this, it's not like driving any other machine out there. And it, it's not just one part. It's not just the engine yeah, or the yeah. suspension or the handling or any of that. It's how it all kind of fits together. And uh, yeah, the manual transmission is awesome. You know, it really gives you that connection to the machine. But, uh, you know, just as a whole, mm -hmm. the, the thing is just a blast to drive. It it's is. unbelievable how much fun it is. And uh, you just don't get that with anything. Anything, even in the automotive world, you don't get that experience. You and I go back. We've raced three-wheelers <laughs> even. I mean, way back. wow. Yep. I yep. mean, this, this, so we've got racing in common. Yep. I'm curious, this thing is almost, you put some numbers on this. I think it would do pretty darn well in the track. You know, I think for the for the track guys, it's really going to set a new level for them. Uh, anybody that follows side by side uh, racing knows the SR1 class mm -hmm. is really the pinnacle. It's the peak, and that is a, a manual type class, just like any other high performance, sure. whether it's YZs or R1s or you know YFZ ATVs. To to be a true sport machine uh you know you got to have that direct connection with the manual and that's what this machine really gives you and yeah on a racetrack there's just you can't you can't uh you can't do it without that you know you really right. can't have that connection with with cvts or automatics i know how you ride we go to these intros we don't mess around no we're and wide you said open. something the other day you said <laughs> something in there wide open yeah you're uh, you said something about hammering down full on not lefting up and almost feathering the clutch mm -hmm. so you're just stabbing at it and the transmission's holding up to that you, you guys you do can, a lot of testing with that i would think yeah you know I, is, that how, <laughs> is that how dustin nelson is riding these things i mean are, there, are we full on there's a lot of ways you know that you can drive these things that um you know maybe they aren't meant to to be driven that way over revving them and and double clutching it and that sort of thing yeah um but you know it can take it it can handle it and uh you know that's the advantage that's the great thing about a manual transmission is you have that flexibility you can double clutch it and you can you know rev the thing to the moon or drop the clutch or you know all those things that you just can't do with a cvt you and, know you've right. got that lag and yamaha is known for having great transmissions to begin with and this is basically an overbuilt motorcycle type transmission correct it's a, a one down 
four, four up. It's a sequential, so yeah, it's similar to any uh, motorcycle out there where you would, you know, you know, in a, in mm -hmm. a foot style situation, you would downshift. So on this one, you would shift forward. Uh, and then from there, everything's just straight back. You know, it's not an H pattern like a yeah. car or anything like that would be. Um, you know, so it uh, it definitely lets you just bang through the gears and it's just overbuilt, not your motorcycle typical transmission. It's just be it bigger. And yeah, I mean it's same. it's everything that Yamaha puts into all their machines. You know, we put into this, and the transmission is built for the the torque and the power and the size of the machine and what its intended riding is. And uh, yeah, we've we've hammered it really hard, and it's it's bulletproof. I don't want to go too long. One more thing, I promise. Yeah. The rear suspension yeah. linkage. It's, mm -hmm. it's a combination of, can you explain this a little bit? A combination yeah. of a trailing arm and an A-arm. It, it's a little bit of that. Um, you know, it's it's actually an A-arm suspension, but it's a, it's a unique design in the A-arm. And, you know, essentially what we've done is instead of your A-arms being parallel to the chassis like this, we've kicked in the back side of them. So what that does is instead of your A-arms moving up and down in this motion, they're actually moving up and down in a rearward motion. So that just allows the suspension to react more freely, and it also allows the, the impact to come front to back okay. against the A-arm. So instead of having the A-arms wanting to flex this way, okay. which can actually deviate the machine, I gotcha. uh, that, that pressure is coming straight back. Very unique. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's kind of the best of all worlds. Yeah. You know, it allows the easy suspension movement, but it keeps the rigidity and the straight line tracking uh, so you're not dancing around as you're going through the whoops or in the rough terrain. I love it. Well, thank you for talking with us. Any last comments on what you went out of this machine? That I know it's a long overdue. You guys are probably tired. This yeah. was a big day. Yeah, you know, we're, uh, I wouldn't say we're tired. We're excited. We're definitely uh, anxious for everybody to get out there and, and give it a shot and see what they think. And I think uh, if you guys have half as much fun driving it as we did building it, uh, it'll be a success. So, um, you know, yeah, get out there and try it.